Today, the Minnesota Department of Transportation paid a visit to Rochester, joined by Mayor Kim Norton. The topic, raising awareness about the driverless shuttle cruising through downtown. But what does the future hold for this driverless shuttle? Noah Kaplan reached out to MnDOT with that question in mind. What did they tell you, Noah? Caitlin, at the moment, they aren't really sure what the future holds. Today's event downtown was more to bring attention to the project rather than discussing its future. What we do know for sure is this is just a test. Are we advancing technology just to advance technology's sake, or is it actually addressing people's transportation needs? Last week, we had the chance to ride Rochester's latest edition in the form of a driverless shuttle. But what is the ultimate plan for this project? I caught up with the project manager, and according to her, MnDOT is also trying to answer that question. How could it be used? We're asking those questions so that we can help technology companies put it in the right place. As of right now, this is just a trial run to gain public feedback on the vehicle. It's really to just provide an experience for people to, to know what connected and automated vehicle technology is. We want to know what they think of this technology, what they like, what they don't like, where they see opportunities, benefits to help advance their needs. It's nowhere near the yay, we're going to use it phase. It's just there to give people a little experience and get some data about how it's working. Tina Liebling was introduced to the project today. Does she see a path forward for this kind of technology? Transportation has not been a big forte in our town. So uh, in terms of having different options, so I could see it as a possibility in the future. Of course, assuming all the kinks are worked out. How is this project being funded? So this program's funded through the Minnesota CAV Challenge Program. CAV stands for Connected and Automated Vehicles. According to MnDOT's website, this program is given $2.5 million through a grant. The project will end August 2022. It is just a 12 month pilot and after that it, it, it will no longer continue operations. Liebling believes the investment is worth it. You've got to have transportation. So I think it's really appropriate that they're looking, looking outward and seeing what possibly might work in the future. And I don't want to put, you know, you know, put any criteria on what it could be or can't be, but we just want to have those conversations to understand what communities want to see this be as. Another potential obstacle discussed is how the shuttles are going to deal with the cold winter weather. According to the project manager, part of this trial in Rochester is to test exactly that. 